effective against the Graves and the Jin. A little bit peculiar, but it did mm. signify the potential Maokai pick once the Corky was locked in. Back down to bottom, but sort of like what opening. Well, here we go again. That's going to be the Flash Exhaust first blood. We'll go over to the Rengar from that aggressive engage of MVP. But hold that thought. Theon is just going to face check that brush. And here comes Corky to the exhaust coming down, and that's going to be enough damage going on over. Flashing the stun is stun does miss. Oh man, the package forward as Crash is here as well. There's that teleport, but Ian will go down, trading one for one for now. But what is Crash gonna do? He looks for that last kill onto Beyond. Will he pick it up? Yes, he will. The double kill comes out, and now he will just dash over the wall. Be extremely effective. Uh, Ian, is not the best spot, and there comes the collateral damage. Enough damage to take his around here just yet. This is being burned down very fast. In comes the teleport. Ian trying to jump on it, and it's stolen oh by Syndra! Unbelievable! They get the Baron, and a huge mistake there from Longju, not able to smite that one, and a huge play from Ian. Wow. MVP probably going to be able to pick up at least another turret here, but they're looking to fight. They're looking for it. Here comes Ad. They burst down Jin immediately, like he doesn't even exist. Bray was not expecting that one. No stun this time around, but in goes Ed. The pop is alt, expression going deep as well. A lot of members of MVP very low. Ed maybe going a little bit too deep. Will be taken out. The flash forward from Fly, able to pick up a kill onto Lulu now. Curtain call, can he land it? Looks like Beyond is just in too much trouble anyway. That will be three kills given over to Longju. And this was a really big mistake before that Baron buff expires. Uh-oh, there's no vision in there. Or actually, there is. Ed is just going to jump on in at a huge knock of going on to both of those members. And Longju is just being routed now. Gorilla on the run. Big redemption comes down. Three kills. Prey. He's going to go down. Double kill for Syndra. Will it be three? No, double kill over to Maokai as well. And that's going to be a clean ace by MVP over Longju. Super clean ace by MVP. And that was some of the worst positioning I've seen come out of Longju. But one of the best capitalizations and punishes by MVP, and they're going to reward themselves with at least the inhibitor here. They might even be able to I press think, on for the game. They have yeah. the teleport available on Ed to lock up a minion. Looks like they're going to go for they're it. The minion's the coming on in, and that's going to reduce the armor. And that's going to be one turret going down. Still four seconds on Gorilla. It's not going to be enough. That will be game number one going over to MVP after a huge ace. And what a way to really win the Baron Steel into getting a ton of objectives off of it into almost position. I mean, they have a lot of pick potential, lots of lockdown, tons of damage coming out of that Graves. But very similarly to game number one, they're going to need some. On in. I don't think Expression knows that Ed is still here. He teched the brush with one of his missiles, but here we go, coming on in. And even with the flash, he is going to be jumped on with the Twisted Advance. And now Expression in a heap of trouble. There he will go down. First blood goes over to Beyond. What are the engagements and stuff? Oh, there's the flash engage, talking about engagements. Down comes the equalizer, but way too much damage. Beyond able to pick up another kill onto Expression. Another kill goes off. Ability boots and Nethergrass comes down. This time Beyond and Ed are around. They should be able to pick this one up, and there it goes. They're going to give that one on over to Ed. Nine is really good for them, so everything's setting up nicely. Lulov giving over to Prey, but hold that thought. Engaging onto Max, who gets caught out. Crash getting very low. Ian attempting to do a bunch of damage on the left side, lands his charm, but also gets exhausted. But real, really, uh, here comes Beyond doing a ton of damage. Ed in the front line, able to get a huge ultimate off, and that's going to be two for two now. But a lot of members of Longju very, very low, only Prey in the front line with that, with that red buff. So can he get the second one? Here comes Prey. He's got red buff. They might be able to pick this one up. And it looks like they will be able to. Nice bull is there, picks up the kill. Expect to continue scaling and okay. Whoa, okay. He catches prey. The wild growth is not gonna matter as he gets hit by another charm. And down he goes. So now this is 5v4, and now Crash gets caught out as well. And even though Max pays for this with his life. Well, here we go again. Ed, he is going to push way, way deep. Lots of members of Longju get super low. But Long and they're going to look for a pick here. Actually, the flash engaged by adding so much burst damage goes out onto Gorilla. And that was the pick I was talking about, even though they did not use 
frozen before, right? We'll see if that turns up, uh, up onto them, and you can see Crash just immediately goes down. Ian is going to survive, especially. He really wants to get a kill here, but both Beyond and Ian survive. And this is all for an Ocean Drake. This is what we were talking about. Fly gets super low. Prey doesn't have much mana, but he's doing a lot of damage. Huge burst damage comes out on the Fly. That's going to be the fourth kill. Now only Prey remains. No doubt he will go down as well. That's going to be the ace, and only Maha will die for it. Really good, though, that Maha was... Are they going to make this happen? There's Crash. They want to engage. Ian getting extremely low. Okay, Max doesn't exist anymore. Ad going to try to 1v2 for now, but really just trying to escape with his life. And he's going to be hard pressed to do so, especially with Gorilla coming on in. And that's going to be Ad going down as well. So at least Longju is able to convert. And now it looks like they want to go towards Baron. They're going to go towards Baron. Beyond does have one level on Crash right now, and they do know that he is waiting just around the corner. Fly might try to cut him off with a package. Definitely and trying here. They have to be really careful right there. Can't let Beyond into the pit. He has to go for it. Oh, oh. Ian, huge amount of burst being sustained onto him. Beyond, he is going to go for it, but they stop damaging the Baron. That's not going to be enough. And there goes the Baron on over to Longju. Fly picks up. With the exception of Fly. Oh, wall. look at that, the flash over the wall, and Fly, he doesn't have the Valkyrie anymore. He's going to go down. Nice bit of burst damage, and it looks like they want to go even further. Gorilla is going to be picked off here by the Twisted Advance, but once again, it looks like Ed just gets a little bit too far forward. A huge play with the Equalizer there to actually zone out the rest of the team, and that's going to be only a one-for-one -one trade. Long do they pick up the real... But look at the ward there that Rumble is forced to teleport to. He also does not have his equalizer, so here we go. It's going to come down to it. The Nether Grasp, and this time Beyond is going to pick that up. A kill on Terengar as well, trying to go in there and get the steal, but oh, huge burst damage. They might be able to turn this one around. Look at Prey dishing out the damage. Expression flashing out in front. MVP now just routed out of this fight, just trying to get away. Fly going to dash the wall. Down goes Graze. Maha may survive. And it looks like Max will as well, just barely is going to be missed there by the Glitter Lance. Does get out, but Longju able to, be able to defend this. And so they did remove the Baron from the map, but it's going to come at the cost of an inhibitor. Don't have teleport to lock up the turret. Oh, are they going for it? This is going to be interesting. They're going for at least one turret now. Gorilla's going to group up. It's only Max, but here, here comes Ian. He just respawned. And so the rest of Longju is going to be content with one. Oh, Ed. Yeah, and the second one person rotates, they just poke the damage. And able to take out the turret now. Looks like Longju in a fantastic position to get a second inhibitor here. You can see Ian hanging around the bot side. And they're going to go for a teleport. This is kind of a, a desperation play. Can they actually convert from here? In comes Ed. Not able to twist it advance, though. They get the charm onto Gorilla, and he goes down, but immediately Max gets taken out. Expression very low, so is Crash. Down two of them will go, so they do pick up a couple of kills, but look at the Nexus. Looks like that second Nexus turret will go down, and now the Nexus is totally open and naked. They managed to win the team fight. Throwing him out, and he can't go out of the traps either. He's eating so much damage. There's the Guardian Angel popped. There's a trap right underneath them. They're gonna try to convert here onto Fly, and that they do. Lots of burst damage coming out here. They do land the Nether Grasp onto Expression, but with that Zonia's, he will be able to get out alive. And look at Prey so fearlessly in the front. Tons of damage, chunking out the Graves, and that will finally be the inhibitor after some difficulty. MVP almost looked like they had stabilized that. They do get the inhibitor. Might even be able to. Now MVP does know about it. Don't know really what they can do. Uh, trying to burst it down with Ian's damage, but not enough. Nice. Up against both the Baron and the Elder. You feel like you have to go for like a desperation Elder Drake at that point? The Nexus. This should be the final fight. They need to make a play, and Prey immediately just QSSs and does get wild growth. Lots of damage coming out onto Expression, but it's not going to be enough. Why even surviving? Down goes the tree, finally. Crash going in for the cleanup, and that is going to be game number two going over to Longju. And that's a pretty big victory for them right there. Fly having a much better performance this time around on the Corky. Prey looking like an absolute god. Very difficult for MVP to really find a way to win and break any sort of a turtle.
because all the eggs are going to be inside the basket of Jace and Caitlyn. And say something if they lost here. Ed might find himself. Uh, blast from Crash. He wants to go on into this, but look at Ian. He's coming on up and trying to do that burst stab. His first blood goes over to Ed. Just barely able to survive. Ian there just on time to help out position Ed does not have teleport especially coming Ooh. in for good measure yeah they're gonna try to make this work Maha is in a huge amount of trouble but there's the curtain call on to Max here comes expression the should be two and down he goes so they got those kills but you can see that the gold lead still for MVP is just so huge oh and to hold that thought I mean Ed is looking for more damage he's gonna pay for it with his life though expression tanky enough to survive that is two kills Given over to Longju. In the bot lane. Skrilla oh, does have that nether grasp. They're going to make it work onto Max. Look at Maha taking the bullets in the front, though. Exhaust comes out, and there's the fourth one. Maha. He wants something big, and Max takes a ton of damage. Still alive, though. Still oh. somehow alive, even after the Kazakh's damage. Fly should be able to pick up Maha here, just barely. And finally, they pick up a kill. Although a lot you look at the way that Longju have itemized a lot of their champions extremely defensive. Look at that. Ian does no damage. He just goes in there and takes his own damage. And now Exhaust is going to be thrown down on the crash, but they will be able to use it. To pick up Ed. There's the immediate QSS, but when you have this much lockdown on the side of Longju, curtain call for the follow-up, and uh, he's going to be forced to flash ahead. Not enough damage coming out of Gorilla. Either way, they do pick up the kill. Pick up the two kills right there. They're able to just get that little bit. Uh, they can sense it either way. Ian is poking his head in. Now they see it. Uh, Jumping forward, and oh boy, okay. Oh, From behind okay. comes Maokai. The slam dunk there given over to Prey on that Jin. Now it's really just going to be up to beyond with the magical steal. Can he pull it off? He's going to flash in. No, he will not get it. Crash will pick up the Baron, and that's just going to be everybody on MVP running away. Down goes Ed, down goes Beyond. Max in a terrible spot. Ma desperately trying to do some damage. That he is, and he will get away for now. But four members of him. Well, it seems like for now they're just going to rotate down with this wave that Expression was able to bring in. There is the curtain call. QSS used by Max, trying to eat some of those curtain call bullets. Where will the fourth one be? Just opening it up for that inhibitor. And does eat it. No QSS, but he's going to take a bit of damage. Does get away. And there's so many members of MVP low right now. Nobody on LZ. Longju really getting all that low. They're going to pick up a second inhibitor as well and just back off. Crash to know that they need to make something happen right now if they want to stay in this game. The problem is they just keep getting so chunked. Well, <laughs> so speaking of chunks, everybody is just going to disappear on this one. In comes Crash. Looks like he might go down, though. Just going to use that ultimate to get away. Oh, Ma does get Deadly Flourish. QSS will keep him alive for now. Max on the run. Crash, he's hunting. He wants it, and he will get it. Another kill onto Caitlyn, and I think that should just be the game. That's definitely going to be the game. With only Max remaining to defend the base and beyond, no one else coming up anytime soon. Nexus turns are going to be poised to fall. Longju wants to fix their KDA a little bit. Get another kill for Crash, and that's going to be it for game number three. One kill to 17. And Longzu continue their streak of dominating everyone that is not SK Telecom, KT, or Samsung. Yeah. Very, very good game for them indeed. They misstep a little bit in game one, but they come back. They're able to take this in a 2-1.